Hi, I am Chris Ryan, the Supervisor of Game Management Services for the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources. And today I'm going to talk about the recommendations for the 2021-2022 or hunting seasons for specifically the black bear um, that is typically in your sectional questionnaire that we will pass out. So what I am going to go over today are questions number one and two. Question number one is the Division of Natural Resources proposes that the 2021 black bear season be open as shown on the attached table. For most of you that are um, very familiar with our proposals, you'll be, you'll be familiar with the table also. And it's the same table format we've used for, for probably a decade or so. So if you flip open to table one, it's the table that says proposed 2021 black bear seasons. So everything you see in bold is a proposed change from what it was last year. And as you look at the table, from your left to your right, we'll typically go counties that are more liberal to more conservative. So if we start on the far left side, we have Boone, Fayette, Kanawha, and Raleigh. Those are the counties that um, will have the most proposed liberal seasons. And the framework is the same throughout many of these counties. However, especially in some of those southern counties below Route 60, um, we propose a little bit of a, a change in the dates and the seasons. And you can see that by the bold in the top. And the first one, it says, the 10-day gun season with or without dogs, August 28th to September the 6th. So you can tell that that is the flip-flop from the one that was previous uh, last year. In addition, we're proposing um, a seven-day gun season with or without dogs, October 30th through November the 5th. And the other two parts in there you see are not bold, so they're the, the same that they have been the last two years. If you come over to the next column, you will see Logan, McDowell, Mingo, and Wyoming, and you'll notice that those were the, the ones that originally came in a little bit earlier. So we're proposing, proposing just a little bit change with them with an early gun season with or without dogs, September the 11th through the 17th, and then a little bit of a split, and it comes back in from October the 2nd through the 8th. We have a very, very good, healthy, abundant um, bear population in those eight southern counties. And we're very happy with the, the, um, the harvest we've got during those early seasons. And that's why we've proposed an extension of, of those early seasons. As you come over into the third column, which is almost the middle there, if you're looking at that column, you'll see that that's basically our traditional mountain counties. And they will have the seven day with or without dogs as has been proposed in the past and it's been there for quite a number of years. We've also proposed a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, October the 18th through the 20th um, in those counties with or without dogs. The next column over you'll see is there's not a bold in there and it's just the, the regular six week gun season without dogs and all of those counties have been in there, um, they were in there last year. There's a 14 day without dogs. You'll see there's two bold counties in there, Gilmer and Ritchie. They've moved over um, because you'll see in the last column that it says four week gun with or without dogs, December the 6th through the 31st by our bear management plan. Gilmer and Ritchie were two of the counties that could be proposed to um, use with or without dogs. And we're proposing that this year that Gilmer and Ritchie switch over to those counties. So that's why they're bold um, in both of those columns. So, that is uh, the, the basically the, the proposals from the Black Bear Seasons on a statewide basis. Um, if you have any questions, you can let us know and we look forward to your comments. On the second questionnaire that I'm gonna go over, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, it's a long paragraph there, so I know you all can read it. I won't read it to you, but basically it's allowing municipalities, homeowners associations, things like that around cities to propose to have an urban bear season when they have an urban deer season. So they still have to have um, permission from the DNR director as requires approval by Director McDaniel. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, we look forward to your comments on the bear seasons and we hope you have a very good and safe season. Thank you.